How to Prepare a Dog for Air Travel Dogs can travel on planes, however there are additional regulations and restrictions to consider before a flight is booked. Researching the process is important so your dog can stay healthy and happy while traveling. Being prepared can ensure that your dog arrives at the final destination safely alongside you. Consider the following as you research how to prepare a dog for air travel. Method 1 Before Your Flight 1. Take your dog to a veterinarian and have it examined for a travel health certificate. Prepare two copies of the certificate with you for whenever you are traveling, leaving one copy with your boarding documents and one taped on your dog's carrier. 2. Contact your airline of choice and ask what their regulations and fees are for flying with a dog. 3. Purchase a ticket for yourself in person or over the phone, alerting the sales representative that you will be traveling with a dog, and pay the airline's fee for an accompanying dog. The fee may depend on where your dog will fit, smaller dogs can often stay in their carrier underneath your seat while larger dogs will typically ride in the cargo section. 4. Purchase or adapt a dog carrier that is tall enough for your dog to stand up and large enough for it to turn around comfortably. A carrier for dogs staying in cargo must be hard plastic with ventilation holes, soft, sided carriers are only allowed inside the cabin. Wire carriers are not permitted on board. 5. Cover the floor of the carrier with a towel or another absorbent textile to safeguard for accidents. 6. Place a comfortable blanket or toy that smells like home inside for security and put a fan on the front of the carrier to create air circulation. 7. Label the carrier clearly with your personal contact information and feeding instructions, then mark the top and sides of the carrier live animal. 8. Place your dog in its carrier regularly and let it get used to staying confined for longer and longer periods of time. Practice the motion of travel by placing your dog in the carrier and then putting it in your car while driving, this will acclimate your dog to traveling in its carrier. Method 2 The Day of the Flight 1. Double-check that you have your dog's health certificate with your boarding materials and taped to your dog's carrier. 2. Feed your dog 4 hours before the flight so their stomach is not full when they are on the plane. If your dog is going to be staying in the cargo area, pad the inside of the carrier with towels and affix a bowl for water and a bowl for food to the inside. Tape a serving of food to the outside of the carrier for flight attendants to use, if there is a delay. 3. Give your dog water up until the flight and then empty their bowl before boarding in order to avoid a spill. 4. Arrive at least one additional hour earlier than recommended, reminding airline employees that you are traveling with a pet when you check in for your flight. 5. Ask employees to show you where the cargo area is for loading if your dog is not staying in the cabin with you. You will be taking your dog directly to the loading dock yourself and then picking them up directly from the same area once you land. 6. Keep your dog as active as possible up until boarding to help them burn off energy and anxiety. Tips Take a recent picture of your dog along with you in case of emergency should the carrier be misplaced or missing. You can then use it to help identify and find your pet. Avoid connecting flights if at all possible so the risk of your dog being left behind is minimized. If you do have a connecting flight, alert all flight attendants to your situation so you can have an expedited exit. Warnings Check the weather forecast and your airline's policies. If your dog is traveling in cargo, it is not climate, controlled so the airline may restrict animal travel if the temperature is too hot or too cold. Dogs or any other pets are not allowed to travel with unaccompanied minors on flights. Sedation or tranquilizers are not recommended for dogs who are traveling by plane because it affects their ability to adjust to air pressure and movement. Consult with your veterinarian if you feel this is the best option for your dog. You should not fly if your dog is younger than 8 weeks old, aggressive, sick, or elderly. The airline has the right to refuse flight to any animal who displays aggression or illness. Things Pet carrier that fits regulations. Leash collar. Recent picture of your dog. Dog food. Towels for the inside of your dog's carrier. Two bowls for the inside of your carrier. 
health certificate from your veterinarian.